The National Media Conference and Symposium, being held in commemoration of World Press Freedom Day, was officially launched on Tuesday at the Arthur Chung Conference Center, with hundreds of media practitioners and journalists in attendance. Delivering the feature address at the opening ceremony, President Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali reaffirmed his government's position on freedom of the press. He also urged media operatives to be responsible, fair, objective, and respectful of the rule of law. The government in a democracy must be able to protect those who operate with the objectivity, the impartiality, and the responsibility and decency in which they, they, they carry out their trade. The government has to ensure <clears throat> that they are protected. President Ali also responded to GPA President Nazima Ragabir's call for his administration not to use spyware. The president made it clear that his government has no intention of using modern technology, such as spyware, to monitor the activities of journalists and citizens. This government has no intention whatsoever. It is not, it is not even contemplated my mind to move in any direction to have any spyware or wireware or anything to, to, to spy on anyone. That is it. That is forest from my thought. I have not even imagined something like that. So take it out. Take it out even your imagination now. It will never happen. At least under this government. Meanwhile, government has partnered with the world's leading learning virtual platform, Coursera, to provide high-level training for journalists here and in the diaspora. Guyana's first ever Media and Communication Academy logo was also unveiled by Minister within the Office of the Prime Minister with responsibility for public affairs, Kwame McCoy, during the event. Through this collaboration, every single media practitioner at every level of the media spectrum here in Guyana and in the diaspora will have access on an annual basis to learning licenses paid for by the government of Guyana. Those licenses will allow you to pursue and pursue selections from among more than 2,000 world-class courses at various levels of certification from leading partner universities in the world, including Ivy League institutions. Since the administration assumed office, it has re-established and strengthened the communication and access channels between government and the media. The approach was facilitated through engagements with representatives of the fraternity.